Welcome to Storytime with Dudley and Miss Karen. This week, we're going to focus on books that are funny, that have funny titles, because we're trying to um, lighten the mood a little bit and laugh. And today is Dudley's birthday. Dudley's officially 13, so happy birthday, Dudley. He's in a good mood today. Right? He's a good boy. He loves stories. He really does. So we're going to start off uh, this week's stories with a little itchy don't eat our classmates and this is in allegheny county library association children's choice award picture book and when i did this in our outreach classes at burner elementary the students loved this book i do believe this won for us as the favorite book we don't eat our classmates by ryan t higgins penelope rex was nervous it's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. Right, Dudley? What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom brought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. Finally, the big day came and Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were in there, Dudley. Children! What's going to happen? So she ate them because children are delicious. Penelope Rex said Mrs. Noodleman, we don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. I don't think her classmates look happy, do you? She tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger painted some of her best work and she even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here. He doesn't look convinced. Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends, but her. It was lonely. When she got home, her dad asked about her first day at school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked. Did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe, sort of, just a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. But poor Penelope, she couldn't stop herself from eating her classmates. The next day, Penelope tried really hard. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope ate William Amoto again. Her classmates do not look happy. And they were all afraid of her. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? Chomp. Walter's hanging from her hand. Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. She's got a big bandage on her finger. She stopped eating her classmates. 
even when Cece wouldn't and spilled, spilled barbecue all over herself. And soon Penelope made friends. Found you. Want a brownie? I helped to make them. Now, even when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter, remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And look out. And Walter, the goldfish, stares right back at her and licks his lips. Because dinosaurs are delicious. The end.